Hey guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to a new Clinton Household video. I'm going to make a quick disclaimer here. If you guys can hear construction, I'm very sorry. I'm trying to film in, like, the most quiet spot in my house where I can't really hear it, but, like, I can hear a little bit. So if you guys can hear it, I'm sorry. But we are back with Ethan's family. This is the house here. It hasn't changed all too much, but I think I'm going to put this house up for download, actually. So I'll have that link on the video of like of this house and I'll probably have a download link down below as well if you guys want to I might actually just make a separate video and like an update video for this stuff but let's go ahead and start off with my very first sim here if you guys are keeping up with this household this here this is Ethan um he's making a really weird face right now I promise he's actually like pretty decent looking even though he's an elder but okay, so here is Ethan. He has recently aged up into an elder. I've been playing him since he was a kid. Oh, my camera. Uh, no. Um. He still has his man bun. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know. The man bun's just, like, iconic Ethan. And I didn't really want to get rid of it. But, yeah. So this is Ethan. Norris. Um. He is the oldest child of Kenny and Isabella. If you guys have been keeping up for a while. Even though, like, Caleb aged up into an Aldo before him. And I can't seem to get my camera right. So I apologize, you guys. I hope, hopefully, this isn't making you guys too dizzy. But, yeah, here's Ethan. So he is 163 days old. He has a celebrity journal. He's celebrity level, style level 1. He ha just hasn't really had much. Like, he saved, like, 44 simoleons. But that's about it. Um, he's a Pisces. He likes kids' music, hamburger, and the color green. He is a perfectionist, avant-garde, frugal, schmoozer, virtuoso, um, artistic, and a genius. For his career, he's a pop icon, which is level 9 in the music career, so he's getting there even though he's an elder. Like, he's super close to completing his lifetime wish. He's level 6, charisma, level 9, cooking. He's mastered the guitar skill. Um... He's level 8 handiness, level 2 logic, level 3 painting. He's very close to level 4, though. Uh, he's level 1 writing and level 1 social networking. And then he's got, like, a few other music skills. So he's, like, level 7 piano, level 4 ba bass, bass, and his drum skills, level 7 or 8. And his inventory, he's got a lot of cookbooks. He's got some nectar in here because they ended up going to Paris, like a spontaneous trip to Paris after Ethan's birthday. He's a fast learner, observant, opportunistic, a multitasker, long-distance friend, legendary host, profession simoleon booster, steel bladder, and an office healer for his lifetime awards. He has about 31,000 lifetime award points. But, um, I can actually afford to probably get some more, but I'm not sure really what ones would, like, help me out. I'm not, I don't really pay attention to them all too much. I only got the steel bladder one because he's an elder, and, like, I feel like my elder's, like, bladders go down really fast. Um, what else do we got? We have engaging. That might help. Let's get the engaging one. So now he's got, like, 21,000. I don't know. I just kind of want to get rid of them, to be completely honest. Um, we can do the next big thing as well. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I just kind of want to get rid of, like, lifetime award points. And then I guess we can do... Hmm. Something just scared me. There was, like, a shadow outside my window. Uh, we can do... Let's do Never Dull. That works for me. And then if we move over here to Allison who is the mother of this household. She, oh, here comes the construction. But, um, this is Allison. And I'm going to go really quick. There's somebody here, so hold on one second. Sorry about that, you guys. Somebody at the door, so I went and answered that. Didn't take too long, though. But okay, so this is Allison. She ages up in eight days. She is an Aries. She likes Roots Music, Hamburger, and the color white. She's a night owl, daredevil, lucky, rebellious, eco-friendly, artistic, and irresistible. Uh, she is also a pop icon in the music career. So she is pretty close to hers as well. She's level 5 charisma, level 7 cooking, level 3 fishing, level 1 street art, mastered the guitar skill. Uh, level 5 handiness, mastered the painting skill. 
because it's like her hobby. And then level one social networking and level one collecting. Uh, she's got a lot of nectar in here and like a painting. And then for her lifetime, she's a fast learner, observant, extra creative, fireproof homestead, carefree, profession small and booster, and office hero. She has 22,000 lifetime reward points, which I'm also probably going to go ahead and spend. I think I'm probably going to get the same ones I got Ethan, I'm thinking. Um, maybe. I don't really know. I'll get the engaging one, I guess. Because I feel like that might help. But I'm not, like, entirely, like, sure. I don't know if it's for the music career, if it's, like, the bands. If that makes sense. Like, I don't play with the bands very often. But, um... What else can we do? I'm gonna do complimentary entertainment. Because her and Ethan do go out to the movies every now and then. So that might be helpful. And then if we go up... Okay, Jalen's at school, but I was going to introduce you to him. But we'll go up here to Miss Destiny, who I've been playing with a lot lately. As you guys can tell from her outfit, she has just graduated university with the science and medicine degree. Um, if I can get a good... Okay, here's Destiny. If you guys go on my Tumblr link down below, the Simplicity YT one, there's so many screenshots of her. It's absolutely insane. I'm going to change her into her everyday wear first, though. But, like, she's honestly the only one I've been playing with as I've been doing, like, the updates and stuff like that. Like, not too much has changed. I just, I wanted to get her through university, and that's what I did. So, here is Miss Destiny. She is now a young adult. So, she ages up in 40 days. She is a Taurus. She likes R&B, cheesesteak, and white. She is an ambitious photographer's eye, workaholic, loves the outdoors, artistic, and a genius. Um, she is a level 3 in the medical career. She is a paramedic. She passed university with a B, so that helped out quite a bit for her career. For her skills, she is level 3 cooking, level 1 fishing, level 1 guitar, um, level 2 handiness, level 8 logic. She's mastered the science skill, because that's what I had her work on in university. She is level 1 writing. Um... Level 1 piano, level 1 bass, level 1 drums. And yeah, that's pretty much her. She doesn't have too much in her inventory or anything. Then she's is a fast learner, observant, multitasker, profession Somalian booster, long distance friend, and a bookshop bargainer. She's got 27 lifetime award points. I could probably use hers too. I just, I don't really know what to like ever use these on. I just kind of like, I always use like the multitasker, fast learner observant ones. I don't know. I think I might just leave hers. And then she's got her siblings in here who are off, like, the, quadru uh, the quadruplets are off at boarding school. So Zion is a loner, daredevil, sense of humor, and brave, and he's a Libra. Uh, Josiah is perceptive, loves the heat, couch potato, and clumsy. Xavier is artistic, heavy sleeper, loner, and virtuoso. And Navea is a diva, friendly, loves the heat, and it doesn't show what the other one is. But, um, she's got some friends in here. Uh, this is her ex-boyfriend, Tracy. He was hot-headed, neat, and unlucky. So yeah, that's her ex-boyfriend. And then she, her current boyfriend is Ronnie Blackstone. He's inappropriate, clumsy, and friendly. He's rich and he's a Libra. We don't know his other two traits. Then Kristen is her best friend. She's frugal, lucky, heavy, sleeper, workaholic, and excitable. Um, I know that it says they're old friends, but, like, honestly, they're the best friends, which you guys will see. And then these are, all, like, the people that she's met in university. A lot of them are her roommates. All of her, like, friends are her roommates. And then there's Whitney Haley, who is her enemy, because Lonnie was Whitney's boyfriend whenever Destiny, like, had them break up. I'm going to introduce you to Jalen when he gets home, so I'm going to go ahead and skip to Miss Misty over here, which is our cat. I believe she's a rag doll. I'm pretty sure she is 79 days old. She is neat, playful, independent, quiet, friendly, hunter, hyper, and non-destructive. Uh, she is best friends forever with Ethan and Helen Crosby, who I'll introduce you to in a second. They're pretty close as well. She doesn't really have like a relationship with anybody else in the family. 
which is kind of sad. Uh, she is level 9 hunting, as you can see. She's, like, super close to, like, mastering it. And she's got a nut hatch in her inventory, so I'm going to sell that real quick. But I'm going to also have her go ahead and stock for some play. And then if we come over here to Crosby, he is a... Bichon Freeze, I think. He's non-destructive, playful, hyper-adventurous, hunter, loyal, and friendly. Um, he is best friends forever with Destiny. It's pretty much Destiny's dog. And for his lifetime things, he's got best behavior and super smart pet. And then for Misty, hers is alpha pet, never nauseous, best behavior, beloved animal, steel bladder for pets, and super smart pet. I gave her the steel bladder one because she has to pee, like, all the time. It's kind of crazy. And then I guess I could probably get Crosby another one, but I don't really know. Oh, and I did use some of... I was either... No, I used Crosby's for the pet hydrogenator, and I used Misty's for the uh, food bowl. But, like, if you guys can see out here, we do have the pet hydrogenator in the backyard for Crosby. And then, um... The dog apparently needs to go pee, so I'm going to send him out here to do that. But then in the backyard, we have Destiny's Science Machine. And because she mastered the science skill, you also kind of get, like, the group project thing. I don't really know if I'll ever use it, but it, it's there. And then over here, I just added on some, like, cat toys for Misty outside. Because she does go outside quite a bit. But we're going to go ahead and play for a little until Jalen gets home, and then I'll, like, I'll introduce you to him. Um, that was actually another thing that I wanted to do. Um, Destiny's phone is ringing. But she's already had a me on answering it, so. She honestly just got home from university today, so. She's still trying to get everything kind of situated. Oh, and then I also have the pet bed, which I use Crosby's for. Um. So, something I did want to show you guys here is all of the pictures in Destiny's room from her university and stuff like that. Um, first off, I'll start with her pet chinchilla here. This is Squeaker. She's got a chinchilla. And then this is a picture of her and Kristen over here at graduation. And then obviously it's a picture of Destiny and Allison at graduation. I don't have any of her and Ethan or Jalen. Um, then we have her prom pictures over here on her desk. They're just her by herself, which is kind of sad. But there's some prom pictures. And then over here, you have Destiny and Ulani. I think they're a super cute couple. And, like, Destiny Blackstone sounds so cool. But, so there's him. And then over here, we have some of our roommates and stuff like that. Um, I'll introduce you guys to them in a second here. So, the picture starting at the bottom. This is Sherry, which is one of her roommates. Then the kissing picture is obviously Ulani. The top picture, I believe, is her roommate, Margaret, and then there's, like, Paris and her and her and her boyfriend again. Okay, yeah, that one is Margaret. And then the top picture over here, I think, is Sarah. I think the first two top pictures are Sarah. Yeah, the first top two pictures are Sarah, and then there's a whole bunch of her and Kristen. And then along the side of this wall here, it's, like, all of her awards and, like, diplomas and stuff like that, and, like, her university stuff. Um, and then she's got a university poster over here on this wall. I'm missing a photo of her and Brenda and her and Cora, which is another one of her roommates. I did take them. I just, they didn't show up in her camera. I don't believe. Uh, camera photos. Yeah. I don't know. Like, that she did take them and they were there when we were in university, but now they're not. So, I don't really know what the heck happened there. But, so she's got, like, a photo collage thing on her wall, which I think is super cute. But, um, I don't really know what I want to do. You can go ahead and read your logic book, I guess, because we do need to master the logic skill for her career. Jalen's almost home from school, and Allison's almost actually done this painting. Like, she's super close to being done the painting. She's still in her pajamas, by the way. And it's, like, one o'clock. But yeah, so she's pretty much still in her pajamas. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of... Oh, it's a brilliant painting. It's worth 2,000 simoleons. It is super pretty. I'm going to wait for her to, like, stop painting, though. Okay. Uh, do I want to keep this painting? I'm going to change her into her everyday wear first. And then we will go ahead and take the painting, I guess, because I don't know if I want to sell it or not. 
Um, Ethan's over here doing the dishes for whatever reason. He really doesn't need to. It would be nice if he wasn't in his pajamas, though. And I do need him to go and actually perform some concerts, but I don't know if I can do that quite yet. There's a best in show competition. Uh, yeah, you can't perform the concert yet, and I think it starts at, like, 3. Yeah, between 3 and 11, you can do the concerts. So I can't do that quite yet. I mean, I could do it, like, when he's at work, but I like kind of having it done ahead of time. Um, he's got really nothing to do right now. I'll let you go ahead and chat with one of your friends, I guess. That works for me. And Allison's phone is ringing. She should probably answer that. See who it is. I'm hoping it's not one of those phone calls where they like they pick up and they talk and you don't know who it is kind of thing. Hi, Allison. This is Kalila. Would you like to come over and hang out? Yeah, we can do that. Kalila is a really good friend of Ethan's. Um, I'll show you guys her if I can find her because she is friends with... Um, and here she is right here. This is Kalila. But she is friends with Allison. Like, they don't know any of each other's... Like, well, she doesn't know any of Kalila's traits. Um, let's see. Stratton Household. You guys would know the Stratton Household. It's, like, Jake and Cassie and them. Oh, and we also own the Redwood Tavern, which I didn't mention to you guys. But, yeah, we own that. Uh, that's the Hammonds. I have no idea where Kalila lives. We've never actually been to her house. So I'm just going to kind of go around the town here. If you guys were wondering what world this is, this is Alpine County. I'll try and if I can remember, I'll leave a link for that down in the description. But um, there's a house over here. The Locklear household. Well, that's not the one we need. We need, I think it's Henson. This world is so big that it's like ridiculously hard to find where people live. But, like, it's such a pretty world. Our house is over here. It's just kind of, like, outside a little cul-de-sac. Um, there's a Tobias household. Henson. Like, you can go and visit the Henson household. And then we'll head back over here to Miss Destiny. And Ethan. Ethan is still on the phone to, I think it's Noel that I have him talking to. I think. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to let him go and take a shower afterwards. Um, attend a sporting event at the community school for the gifted. We can do that. Destiny's just over here reading, but she does need to pee. So I'm going to have her come and use the bathroom over here. And then maybe I'll get her to invite Lonnie and Kristen. Because I think that'd be kind of cool for them to like all live in a house together kind of thing. I don't know. And she does want to move in with Lonnie. I don't know if I showed you guys what the wants were. But one of her wants is to move in with Lonnie. And like she never had like any wants for that for Tracy. So I think she's way more into Lonnie. And like I like Lonnie better than Tracy. Tracy and her were set up through like the prom system if you guys know what I mean. Uh, you can come and get a toy. Oh, I hate construction. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear that. I'm at, like, the... My house is at, like, the back of my... Oh, uh, my house. My room's at, like, the back of the house. And they're at, like, the front of the house. So I'm hoping that you guys can't hear it all too well. Because I'm in a different spot from where I'm normally filming. Like, I don't normally film in my room. I film in, like, my... It's kind of like an office, I guess. But, uh, it's kind of, like, in the middle of the construction zone area. But I'm going to let Ethan go ahead and perform a concert at the stadium. And Allison is still traveling over to Kalila's. And then Destiny's just kind of doing her own thing. I'm going to let her read, maybe read her logic book when she's done. Inviting the people over. Uh, Jalen should be getting home pretty soon if he's not home already. But I want to make sure what the, like... Allison gets to go into Kalila's house kind of thing. We've never been here, so. I invite to visit. We will invite Lonnie and Kristen. And I didn't create any of these sims, by the way. Paris is from the university world. And then I had story progression on. So that it was, like, different people. So it wasn't, like, Liz and Sid and stuff like that. From, like, when Ethan and Allison went to school. If that makes sense. This is Kalila's house. Huh. 
This is kind of a weird shaped house. But her Destiny's friends are going to come and visit tomorrow, so that's cool. Uh, you are performing a concert, which is all good. And Jalen is actually on his way home. He wants to go on a field trip, which he should have time to do. He doesn't age up for another little while. And the couple for Jalen comes in about an hour, so I'm going to have to like introduce you guys to him really quick before he heads off to work. But, um... This is Kalila. She's a chef, apparently. But I'm going to jump back over here to Jalen to introduce you guys to him before he heads off to work. Um, he is obviously the second oldest kid of Ethan and Allison. He was the only one that I intentionally had planned. Quadruplets weren't entirely planned. I planned, like, one of them. Not four. But, you know, it happens. But I'm going to get Jalen to come over here so he's not, like, facing a wall and in, like, a really weird angle, you know? So, I'll go ahead and introduce you guys to Jalen now. He's kind of like my more, like, puppy sim, I guess. He's soaking wet from the rain, so just kind of ignore that. But this is Jalen. Um, I'm hoping he doesn't keep looking to the side and, like, he turns his head. Can you turn your head, please? Okay, well, I didn't mean for you to, like, make that face. But, um... This is Jalen. He ages up in six days. He is a Capricorn. He likes songwriting music, good salmon, and the color yellow. He's a perfectionist, genius, clumsy, and proper. Uh, for his... Oh, he's got a girlfriend, by the way. This is Gwen Ryder. All we know about her is that, the fam that he's, she's family-oriented. He is an A in high school, and he's a bus person for that. And then his after-school activity is a shop club and sports club. I don't know. I felt like that'd be something he'd be into. He is level 3 athletic, level 2 cooking, level 4 handiness, uh, level 3 logic, and that's about it. He's got some stuff in here. He's got the, um, that opportunity thing. He has 71 lifetime reward points. I actually don't have any that I've purchased for him, which is kind of weird to me because, like, it's me and I normally have them all have, like, the same ones. I don't really know what I want him to do, but I feel like for his job, the born to cook one might be kind of helpful. And then we could also do observant so we can figure out the rest of Gwen's traits. And profession simoleon booster is always good too. Even though they really don't need the money, but why not? And we'll do opportunistic. I just kind of want to get rid of his points. <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Um, fast learner would be helpful as well. But I feel like fast learner is helpful for like everything. And maybe that's all I'll get him. I don't know. Maybe I'll have him go through to be like a cook. Um... I think that's all I really want to get him. So yeah, that's Jalen. So he's got the fast learner observant. You know, I just basically I said all of them. But I'm going to let him go ahead and do his homework on the multi-tab. If you guys have the multi-tab from the Sims 3 store, I just want to let you guys know that they do the homework. They can do the homework on it and like takes up way less time. It's great. So he's going to go ahead and do his homework. And he's got to head off to work. Destiny's upstairs reading her logic book in the quadruplets room apparently. Which, the room's really basic, I know. I know, I know. And then Ethan can go ahead and head home after he's done his concert. You're not painting a portrait of Kalila. But apparently this is Kalila's house here. Um, it's... Very petite. But, it also is kind of cute. At the same time, I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever have a sim live in a house like this, but... It's cute. Um... What do you want to, like, she doesn't have any wants of anything to do with Kalila, but I guess you can call them at her home since you've technically never been here. And Missy's still stalking for play. You're getting a toy. Uh, like, cool. That works out for me. And you're just going to kind of socialize with Kalila a bit. And Missy actually just 
uh, leveled up the hunting skill. Like, she's done it completely. So that's kind of cool. But I think I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap this video up about here. I don't know. I want, like, a better spot to stop. But if you guys enjoyed this video, you can leave a like down below. If you want to see some more videos from me and you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button down below. And if you've already subscribed, you can hit the bell notification down below. It'll let you know when I post. And I think that's honestly about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this current household. And I will see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, guys.